Okay, okay, get ready. Who's ready for pictures? Me, me. Not me. Some people love being in front of the camera, while some don't like having their photos taken. But do you agree that you cannot avoid taking pictures? With today's video, I can guarantee that all of you will look much better than ever before in pictures. Why just pictures? These are great body language tips to always look more attractive because it is all about learning the right angles with your body to look more comfortable and confident while you're doing so. Be it a party or with family or upcoming holiday season, dating profile, social media, you will be photographed. Especially during COVID, people are seeing you through your pictures more than they see you in person. So you might as well try to look your best in photos, right? Today's tips will help you get over the reasons that make you conscious in front of the camera. I am very excited for your photo transformation. I don't want anyone to say that I look awful in pictures or I have low self-esteem because of that. I truly believe that everyone can look good in pictures. But it's all about putting an effort. If you put zero effort, you'll probably get poor results, just like most things in life. But that ain't gonna happen because you have Blush With Me to help you get more comfortable with the camera and look awesome in pictures always. I am Parmita, Chicago-based image coach, and my goal is to help you become the best version of yourself. If you want to work with me, then you can find my website below. I offer one-on-one -on -one sessions, group sessions, as well as host online workshops on topics that you want to learn the most about. I recently hosted a body language workshop and for those of you who could not attend it, you can click on the link below and get a limited time access to this body language workshop. As and when I host more such sessions, I will keep you posted. But today, let's start with super easy body posing and posture tips. Welcome to Blush With Me. I think a lot of you enjoy my sessions or videos because you learn while having some fun. I personally am someone who learns better when teaching is made more fun and easy. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. It is an online learning community that makes learning very effective and enjoyable in a short span of time. Just like you, I too am using my COVID time wisely to learn a new skill set. I will share more info on that later during today's video, but for my Blush With Me community, they have a very special offer to learn one or many skills in a short span of time. For now, I can't wait to begin today's tips for anyone who wants to look picture perfect in photos. Okay, so for tip number one, let's start with an easy one. Lift your arm up. So naturally, when you pose for photos, we tend to leave our arms flat by our sides. But this can make your arm look awkward, uncomfortable, and it can also make your arm appear much bigger, much wider. But watch this. When I move my hand away from my body, even rest your hand on your hips or just move it away slightly, you will notice that your arm appears much slimmer. So you can say that just by lifting your arms and keeping them slightly away from your body, you can appear a lot more attractive in photos. Keeping your arms by your side makes you appear wider. Try it right now. Pretty simple, right? Tip number two is to angle your shoulders. When you pose head on in your photos, you tend to look bigger. Just like the previous tip, if your arms are on the side, you look bigger. If you look straight into the pictures, you of course look much wider. When you turn your shoulders slightly, you start showing a thinner profile of yourself. You will look slimmer and your photos will be far more flattering. Now to this tip, add the previous tip of bending your arms slightly to elevate this pose. Now remember I said earlier, these tips are great not just for photos, but also for your body language in general. Instead of standing straight, dead on talking to people, when you turn slightly and bend your arms, you appear far more confident and attractive. So tip number three is my favorite and I see most people make this mistake when they're trying to take better pictures of themselves. So when you're posing for pictures, try to make subtle changes instead of going from here to here to here to here to here. Okay, stop. 
You just saw what happens when you try to take multiple pictures in different poses. Chances of me finding just one or two perfect pictures are much higher when I make subtle changes, just in my head position or just a little bit in my upper body. But when you go on changing your poses drastically, it is hard to find that one image that would have captured you or your personality perfectly. So whatever your pose be, once you decide what your pose is going to be, what your background is going to be, make very subtle changes in your pose. Just make subtle changes in your smile, your expression, and that is what will give you that perfect picture. I know a lot of people get nervous in front of the camera and they don't know what to do. When a photographer tells you, do what you're comfortable with, you're like, I am not comfortable with this. I have not done this before. And that's what I experience with a lot of my clients. So if you're just starting out and you want to start warming up in front of the camera, all I would recommend is just to relax and use the first two tips of angling your shoulders and lifting your arm away from your body, which has already created a good framework for your body to appear attractive. Add this third tip, or let's say the third step that will help you get the perfect angles. So one, two, three. And when you're doing this, be conscious that just like your body, don't change your facial expressions suddenly either. So don't go from here to here to here back to back. I'm pretty sure this has become one of your favorite tips too because this makes a huge transformation in your body language and in your pictures. So hope you're getting to learn something new and interesting. Pictures are a lot more than just posing. I have been learning to make my pictures more creative and Skillshare has made it easy for me. It's an online learning community where you can learn a particular skill just like millions of other people are learning right now. Skillshare has made it easy for you to learn from thousands of experts on a variety of topics. For instance, I'm learning Amelie Satzgerd's iPhone photography, how to shoot and edit conceptual photos with your phone. Now, I am very confident about my iPhone photography skills, but it is time for me to explore more and learn more about conceptual artistic photos. So Amelie is a photo artist who takes conceptual artistic photos using just your phone without any expensive software. She shares very precise, very productive tips in a very short span of time. If you notice every topic, every segment is shorter than two minutes. So I can now learn something that I always wanted to but avoided learning because either it needed a lot of time commitment or it was very expensive. I'm sure you all have a certain interest that you can develop while you're staying home. I really want you to explore Skillshare for yourself. They have topics that are ranging from productivity, creative writing, photography, art, interior designing, flower arrangement, e-commerce strategies, how to brand yourself as an entrepreneur. Think about it, all of these topics or many of these topics are interrelated. So just like me, you too can do multiple courses at a time. And the courses are very flexible. I can just do two or three minute course at a time or 10 minutes at a time, practice and come back to it. So you can actually develop your skills and you can get all of this in just $10 a month. But Skillshare has a very special offer for my Blush With Me family members and that is you. The first thousand to click the link in the description below will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. With that said, let's get back to our next tip, occupying your hands. It can be awkward figuring out what to do with your hands, with your arms in photos, since they can actually sometimes enhance the nervousness that you're already feeling. So don't leave your hands empty. It's always good to get some help. Try holding a prop like a cup of coffee or a handbag or a scarf to relieve your hands of the awkwardness. You can also use your hands to touch your face or your hair. This is a more advanced move, but I'm sure I have shown this in some of my other videos. If you haven't yet started following my channel, please hit the subscribe button so you can catch up on all my other videos. I do keep posting small tips on my Instagram in my story, so it's a good idea to follow me there as well. So watch all my videos, practice everything you learn so you can always look awesome. 
you smile for too long and it goes all weird. Smiling for extended periods on command is hard and I'm sure a lot of you have experienced this. The longer you smile, the more fake it will generally look and sometimes, especially in a group photo, it takes a while for people to get ready. So by the time you actually take pictures, this is what your picture looks like. Am I right or am I right? So ask the person taking the shot to do a countdown. Three, two, one. So you can spend only a second or two smiling and posing. Relax your mouth till you're expected to get ready for the shot. I hope you enjoyed these tips. In this video, we tackled pretty much everything you can do with your upper body when you're taking pictures so you can always look incredibly confident and comfortable in photos. I have already made multiple videos with tips on how you can look more confident and attractive in pictures. So do watch those videos for more tips that are explained in details. I will link them in the description below and also up here you have all the playlists so you can watch them back to back and get ready for an amazing topic on how you can look more curvaceous and even fake those curves if you have none. The tips are super simple and easy to understand and they'll blow your mind about what all you can achieve with that body that you already have. I want you to tell me how you would use the tips from today's video in your next pictures for social media, for headshot, in a group shot, for your dating profile, matchmaking profile picture, for your blogs or to represent your confident image related to your business. How? Before you go, please let me know if you want to do another extensive body language workshop, posing for photos workshop, or a personal branding workshop where you can learn to recreate your identity so people can take you more seriously. Like I said earlier, you are welcome to purchase your access to my body language sessions linked below. Okay, so I'm guessing you have hit the subscribe button, you have hit the like button, you are sharing this video with your friends and you are going to comment. I look forward to your comments because your comments are the best part of sharing videos with you guys. They help me create the content that you are asking for. I will see you next week. Until then, continue to blush with me.